All oh, right, just going to do a video going over the false doctrine of soul sleep and debunking it from God's word. So, what is soul sleep? Well, soul sleep is a doctrine in the Seventh-day Adventist church that basically denies that people are in heaven and hell right now. And basically is a denial of what God's word teaches. And basically they say, they say that when someone dies, they go into the grave and they just have some kind of sleep, spiritual sleep or soul sleep. And they are not in heaven or hell, they're just awaiting for you know, the, the, the judgment or whatever, and then that, that's when they go to hell. It's a false doctrine. It, it's very unscriptural. Uh, the Bible teaches that people are in hell and heaven right now. Okay? First of all, let's go over the scriptures and see what the Word of God says about this. Uh, first of all, let's show examples of people who are in hell right now. Okay, so first of all, God opened up the ground that some wicked Israelites were standing on, and the wicked Israelites dropped instantly into hell, and God closed up the earth after. They go straight into hell. They don't start soul sleeping in the grave. Numbers chapter 16 verses 30 to 33. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain, appertain, appertain unto them, and they go uh, and they go down quick into the pit. Then shall you understand that these men had provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking of all, uh, speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses and all the men that uh, appertained appertained unto Korah and all their goods. And they, they and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them and the earth closed upon them and they perished from among the congregation numbers chapter 26 verses 9 to 10 the sons of elab numal and dathan and, and Abra, Ar, abram that is, Dathan and Abram, which were famous in the congregation, who strove against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah, when they strove against the Lord, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah, and that when that company died, and what, what time the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a sign. Psalms 106, verses 17 to 18. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and devoured the company of Abram, and a fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. So they go straight down into hell. They don't go down and start soul sleeping in the earth, like the false doctrine of soul sleep would say. Next, when God tells about the fate of, the, of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, God mentions people who have already gone down to, quote, the nether parts of the earth, which is where the underworld is located. Ezekiel chapter 31 verses 14 to 18. To the end that none of the trees, none of all the trees by the waters exalt themselves for their height, neither shoot up their top among the, th the thick rows, uh, boughs, neither neither their trees stand up in their height, all that drink water, for they are all delivered unto death to the nether parts of the earth, in the midst of the children of men, with them that go down to the pit. Thus saith the Lord God, in, in the day when he went down to the grave, I caused a mourning, I covered the deep for him, I restrained the floods thereof, and the great waters were stayed, and I caused Lebanon to mourn for him, and all the trees in the field fainted for him. I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall, when I cast them down to hell, with them that descend into the pit. And all the trees of Eden, the choice the choice and, the, and best of Lebanon, all that drink water shall be comforted in the nether parts of the earth. They also went down into hell with him, unto them that be slain with the sword, and they that, they that were his arm, that dwelt under his shadow in the midst of the heathen. Uh, the whom art thou thus, thus like in glory, and in greatness among the trees of Eden, yet thou yet shalt thou be brought down with the trees of Eden to the unto the nether parts of the earth, thou shalt lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that be slain by the sword. This is Pharaoh and all of his multitude, saith the Lord. 
Ezekiel chapter 32, verses 18 to 21. Son of man, will for the multitude of Egypt, and cast them down, even her and the daughters of the famous nations, unto the nether parts of the earth, with them that go down into the pit. Whom dost thou pass in beauty? Go down, and be thou laid with the uncircumcised. They shall fall in the midst of them that were slain by the sword. She is delivered unto the sword. Draw her and all her multitudes. The strong uh, strong among the mighty shall speak to him out of the midst of hell with them that help him they are gone down they lie uncircumcised slain by the sword ezekiel chapter 32 verses 26 to 30. this is melchitz tubal uh, tubal and all her multitude her graves are round about him all of them uncircumcised slain by the sword though they cause their terror in the land of the living uh, and they shall not lie with the mighty that are fallen of the uncircumcised, which are gone down to hell with their weapons of war, and they have laid their they have laid their swords under their heads, but their iniquities shall be upon their bones, uh, though they were the terror of the mighty in the land of the living. Yet thou shalt be broken in the midst of the uncircumcised, and and shalt lie with them that are slain with the sword. This. There is Edom, her kings, and all her princes, uh, with which their might are laid uh, by them that are slain by the sword. They shall lie with the uncircumcised, and with them that go down to the pit. Uh, there, 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 there be the princes of the north, all of them, and all of the, all the Zidonians, which are gone down with the slain. With their terror, they are ashamed of their might, and they lie uncircumcised with them that are slain, that be slain by the sword, and bear their shame with them that go down to the pit. So there are people who have already gone down, gone down to the pit, have been cast down to hell. People who are already down there, as God is, you know, describing this fate of Pharaoh. There are people already down there. They're not in the grave, soul sleeping. Now, of course, the account of Lazarus and the rich man, the rich man dies and wakes up instantly in hell, right after. He was not soul sleeping in the grave. Luke chapter 16, verses 22 to 26. And it came to pass that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died, and was buried. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. So he dies, and he wakes up in hell right after. He's not in the grave, soul sleeping. It's a lie. Uh, next, when Judas died, he went straight to hell. He wasn't in the ground soul sleeping. Acts chapter 1 verses 24 to 25. And they prayed and said, Thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part in the, of this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. Where is his own place? Hell. Next, here are examples of people who went straight to heaven when they died. When Enoch died, he went straight to heaven by God's hand. He wasn't soul sleeping in the ground. Genesis chapter 5, verses 22 to 24. And Enoch walked with God after he begat uh, Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years uh, and enoch walked with god and he was not for god took him where did god take him to heaven not in the grave soul sleeping when elijah died he was taken by god straight up to heaven he didn't start soul sleeping either second kings chapter 2 verses 11 to 12. And it came to pass, as they still went on, and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. 
And Elijah, Elijah saw it, and he cried, Fight my father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. So Elijah was carried by a whirlwind, whirlwind right up to heaven, not into the ground, soul sleeping. The apostles themselves saw Jesus Christ speaking with Moses and Elijah in heaven. It shows that Moses and Elijah were both in heaven, not in the ground, soul sleeping. Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 to 4. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up unto, into a high place. Uh, or to a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was uh, was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. And then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, is it is it good is it it is good for us to be here? If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles: one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias. So you have Moses and Elijah already in heaven talking to Jesus Christ, and the apostles are seeing that. They weren't in the ground soul sleeping. They were in heaven talking to Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ told the thief on the cross, he said to the thief on the cross, Today you'll be with me in paradise, Abraham's bosom. He told him he'd be in paradise that very same day. You'll be with me in paradise. Paraphrasing, of course. But that very same day, he told him that. And he said, you know, that he'll be with them in paradise that very same day. I'll put it that way. Luke chapter 23, verses 42 to 43. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Where is paradise? It's Abraham's bosom. He'll be with them that very same day in paradise, not in the ground soul sleeping. Finally, when you die, you're described as being absent from the body, but present with the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 6 to 9. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. For wherefore we labor, whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. So when you die, when you die you're absent from the body but present with the Lord. It's that simple. Soul sleep is a false doctrine. You People go to heaven or hell when they die. If they're saved, they go to heaven. If they're lost, they go to hell. And not to mention, too, there are angels who are down in the underworld, too, who are in chains of darkness, according to Second Peter chapter 2, verse 4, and Jude 1, 6. But... It's a false doctrine, soul sleep. People go to heaven or hell when they die. If they're lost, they go to hell. If they're saved, they go to heaven. Don't be deceived by the false doctrine of soul sleep. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.